What's going on YouTubers? I'm Judge Fred Tagalo. This car right here is a 2010 Toyota Yaris. It has over 246,000 miles and my daughter hasn't changed. Hasn't changed the automatic transmission fluid. So let me show you how to check the transmission fluid and then later I'm going to change it. Okay, so when you pull out a dipstick, um, these are the notches. This is the left is cold low, cold high. And then this one is cold low, cold high. So in order for you to check the automatic transmission, you got to warm up the engine, drive it for about 30 minutes, and then you want to see the fluid somewhere between these two notches here on the uh, hot low and hot high. So it's going to be between these two notches. This one I don't use. This is for the engine being cold. Cold engine uh, can't really give you a, a, a precise transmission fluid level um, accurately. So I don't use the cold one. I warm up it, the car, drive it around for about 30 minutes or so, and then I check it on this side right here uh, between this low notch and the high notch. So this car has been neglected. It's dirty and everything, but it still runs good. Anyway, so uh, this car has been driven, so it's already warmed up. And now I'm going to check the automatic transmission, transmission fluid. So while the engine is running, okay, the engine is running, you see. It's running and it's warmed up already. It's been used for like, what, 35 minutes? They've been driving it for 35 minutes. So I'm going to put my foot on the brake. And I'm gonna go to go through the all the gears. So reverse, neutral, drive, rever uh, neutral, and then reverse, and then finally park. Now we're gonna leave the engine running. Okay, it's on it's, it's on Parker now. The handbrake is here, and then immediately I'm gonna check the fluid. So this is the automatic transmission fluid. I'm gonna pull it out, wipe it, and then I'll put it back in. level is a little bit high and that's how the fluid looks like it looks really dark it's like black coffee so now i'm gonna go ahead and shut off the engine all right so it's now it's time to uh, change the oil so i lifted this car i jacked it up put on the i think it's a four by four and then i put a safety uh jack stand and then at the rear we have wheel chocks show you the other side other side is the same thing and then now I'm gonna access the bottom with the transmission you ready yeah. all right this is a ratchet and this is a hex ratchet or socket it's a 10 millimeter let's double check to make sure it fits this is a 10 millimeter how do we know this is the transmission uh, oil pan? It's because on top of this is the dipstick for the transmission. On this side, let me show you, show the camera. This side is for the oil and the dipstick for the oil points on this side. And then the dipstick for the transmission points at this side. So you know, and I know that this is the automatic transmission fluid. So it fits, and always remember guys, lefty-loosey. 
Yeah, gotta make sure it's going left. The engine is still hot, so I'm gonna just crack it loose. Oh, there you go. That's nice. Nice loose. Woo! It's dripping. I don't. I still need this box to send goods to the Philippines, so we're gonna try to save the box. Yeah. There you go. I'm gonna open this up. It's, it's freaking warm up in here. I'm just gonna spin it and then let it drop. Let me see if I could withstand the heat. Whew, hot. Oh man, it's hot. You know what? I'm just gonna let it drip like that overnight because my hands are sensitive. Sensitive hands, it's nice and soft. I put lotion on my hands so I can't take the heat. That's it. That's it. All right, what's going on, YouTubers? We're back. So I let this transmission oil drain all night long. <clears throat> so I'll go ahead and clean this bolt. And. Uh, you don't really have to replace the washer if you don't have the washer. But if you want to replace it and you have the money to do it, you do it. So, I was going to get a fuel fill, I mean, uh, an automatic transmission fluid filter. Get a filter for this and take out like 14 bolts. I decided I'm not going to invest on a filter. And I'm not in the mood of taking out 14 bolts. To me, I'm just going to drain and refill. And right now, I'm wiping it. So you should wipe it. So you can detect if you have any oil leak. And plus, you don't want oil or fluid like this spreading all over underneath your car. Because it will give you a wrong indication. Or a false indication that you're leaking fluid. So you want to wipe it, wipe it clean. So we're going to tighten it up, righty tighty. I'm going to tighten this up. Notice as I hold my wrench is towards or closer to the bolt or to the ratchet. Because I don't want to over tighten this one too much. Oh, that feels tight. That's tight. That's tight. All right, that's tight enough for me. All right, let's measure the uh, collected uh, oil, used oil or fluid. All right, so this is the collected used transmission fluid. Now the uh, drain and refill for the 2010 Toyota Yaris, it said it requires 2.5 five liter so I'm gonna pour the old one in this bottle I got two bottles I just want to see how much fluid um, it drains out here we go guys all right so this is what I have collected we got two two liters and half of a 500 milliliter you know of course I spilled a little bit too but doggone it they're really black look at that all right before you you start filling up uh, your automatic transmission fluid make sure your car is level well this is what I got from this car and according to the owner's manual, the drain and refill is two liters and a half. This is two liters. All right, so you're going to need this kind of funnel, long funnel. Okay, so make sure it's clean. I'm going to pull the dip dipstick out. 
and sure enough it shows empty let's wipe it anyway so since you need a funnel like this and a very small opening that will fit in here show them there right. that's where you fill it just like that So we're gonna slowly fill it up. According to the owner's manual is two liters and a half. This is about a liter. So two and a half of these. So make sure it's IETFWS for the for the um, for the Toyota. Alright, so I'm gonna fill this up. And then I'll talk about it after. Okay, shut it up. Oh, shit. It's overfilling. I'm going to have to let it. You don't want to overfill it really fast. There you go. This is much better. So I spilled some. According to the manufacturer, it says drain and refill is 2.6 quarts. And what I pulled out is more than that. One, two, three, four. It's more like four and a quarter co uh, quarts. So I don't know. I'm guessing the internet is incorrect. That it's not. 2.6 quarts is probably more so I filled this up with 2.6 quarts of ATF WS genuine Toyota uh, transmission fluid and we'll see how it goes I'm gonna start it up and then we'll find out all right let's start it up it's running fine reverse Neutral drive seems to be okay. Reverse and drive. Right, let's go check the the fluid level as cold engine. We're gonna keep the engine running, and then since the engine is still cold, we're gonna be measuring using the measuring stick for the cold side. I already wiped my the stick, so I'm gonna put this in. Wow, this is almost empty. So maybe the, the internet's incorrect. What's going on YouTubers? So I'm doing a test drive. Accor according to the internet, uh, the 2010 Yaris uh, capacity is 2.6 quarts. And I put in 2.6 quarts. But what I pulled out from this car was 4.3 quarts. So I don't know why it's more than what the internet is saying. Unless the internet is wrong. Um, I'm driving my car around right now. I'm trying to warm it up. And then I'll check my... I'll check my level. But other than that, it's running fine. It's smooth shifting. Uh, there is no indication of malfunction or whatsoever. So who is right? Alright, so I've driven it for about 20 minutes. It, it runs really well, shifting really smooth. 
um, there's no jolting or anything like that and then I ran it through all my gears and immediately I checked my level of, uh, of the fluid of the automatic transmission fluid and it's indicating on the low side or basically on the cold indicator so that means I'm low of fluid so that means the fluid I took out from here was correct the fluid that the inter internet saying 2.6 that's either incorrect or is for another car not a 2010 Yaris so I'm gonna have to get more fluid so I need one and a half quart so I'll finish this project once I get more uh, automatic transmission fluid uh, okay, so once again, a uh, recap of, uh, of this situation right now. So I am missing. I've learned something today. Even though the transmission fluid is low or it's not at the correct level, the transmission is still shifting smoothly, no jolting, um, no slippage. It's acting like it's normal. So that kind of information for you guys that owns an automatic transmission, it may be the same situation where you're driving your car and shifting fine and it makes you assume that you have enough fluid in your automatic transmission so maybe that information is good for you guys too so anyway so tomorrow um, I'll get the uh, more fluid 